Want to know how to show love and fill their love basket? Okay. Welcome to the Best Years Podcast. This is Dr. Darlene speaking to Generation X and baby boomers who want more. I'll share power, skills, and tools with you to get your mojo back and love your life. Love, love, love. This is the week of love, love. Oh, love, what is love? And how do you show love? Oh, that feeling when I care how you feel is love. And how I feel is love. Well, let's see, how do you do it? Well, well, we have all heard about the five languages of love by Gary Chapman. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Gary. My boyfriend and I had a conversation last night about what our love language words, languages are. We compared them, we contrasted them, we decided we have almost the same words. Yay! But what do you do if they're different? You can read his books to learn all about that. Because if they don't talk to you in your words of affirmation, then you have to read their sign language when they smile at you to know they love you. So Gary Chapman has lots of answers in his book. You know that the five languages are words and or acts of service and or gifts and or quality time and or touch. I'm going to go beyond that and say that I think there's other ways that people feel loved when they feel heard. I know I have three kids that if I don't listen to them and feel it like I'm feeling you, then they're just not, if they tell you what, I could do acts of service and words all I wanted and quality time, I could rub their back. But if they don't feel heard, they don't feel loved. So there's other ways. So love language is, is one thing. But today, I'm going to add on to this and call something a love basket. You have a love basket, or you can think of it a bank account, or uh, John Gottman calls it the love tank, I think. So filling up your basket of love for your person and each other is cool. And that's really what I want to focus on today is we can show love in love languages and we want to make sure we fill that tank up all the time. However you do it in your love languages by reading his book, what I want you to do today is really say with you and your partner, is your love tank, your love basket empty? Or is there tons in there? Every time you put something in the basket, it fills it up higher and higher and higher. Let's say you put rosebuds in there. Well, you clip off the whole rose. It's a little bud. And you stick it in there and you put more and more in. So the more you do in the area of love that is best for them, the higher it gets and the higher it gets and the higher it gets. And no matter what your love language is, is there's nobody who's going to say they don't appreciate when you stopped by 7-Eleven and bought them a candy bar or a Gatorade or an organic apple. So everyone is going to respond to any of these. There's nobody who's going to say, I don't really care if you help me in the kitchen. I want you to just stare at me and let me do it by myself because my acts of service is not the one that's my, my love language. Hey, all of them are for everybody. Gottman explains which are best. I'm saying do all of them today and fill up the love basket. If your reservoir is low, then you're probably not going to stay together. Assess how full your basket is. It's so fun to fill up baskets. It's like super fun. There's also no one who's not going to love a sticky note on their mirror today that says, thank you for being you. I want that one on my window or my mirror, my rear view mirror. Wouldn't that be cute? You get in your car and there's a sticky note there. Have you done something for your children today? Sticky notes are my fave. I got a hundred podcasts to do on how I use sticky notes for every affirmation for I love them. I have one in time management. Sticky notes burn up at midnight if there's tasks on them because you got to get them done. So loving someone is a really good utilization of a sticky note. Spread those around. Love texts. How many love texts can you send today? Whatever your love language is, there's no one that's not going to love a text from you saying, appreciate you, you're the best, little heart, thinking of you, T-O-Y, thinking of you, some little accolade. There's no one that isn't going to love a smile. Filling up your expression of love, 
the more you give, ha, the more you get. So your basket gets fuller when you give. It's like the coolest mathematical equation. When you give, you get. When you love the snow, you feel better. When you love the sun and you're grateful, you give be- you get better. You are more. So you give love and they receive love. And as a couple, how full is your love basket together? Keep it full all the time. Never let it get low. So how many love notes can you send today? How many sticky notes will you stick around on this day for those that you love? Have a wonderful, loving day and a loving week. I love you. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel so we can hang out. Also go to www.whatstopsyou.com for notes to this podcast and learn more power skills to indeed live the best years of your life.